Oke, okay. now hello and welcome back everyone Dan Kevin from Kevin from C And why have you is the Takumar 55mm f1.8 This thing has some minor scratches on the front Let me show you If I can actually focus See, some minor ones and some scratches I mean some fungi Let's see, so let me take my torch here To them on my other table As with the Konica video, if I actually post that one Because I have another project on my main table which I'm not gonna discuss for now at least yeah because it is still in the works so I still have some fungi in the lens yeah like that okay and so I bought this lens from somebody else that does YouTube which is Camera Bandul from ja from Jogjakarta um so let me show you how I work on this I got this thing for a fair price which is always good because I intend to sell these things after I'm bored with them so this as you can see, it has no screws on the outside. You have to take this thing out from the inside. So let me go peel the stickers off first, yeah? So I can actually still... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay, that's not expected, yeah? This thing is so top-heavy, so let's push this thing a bit forward. Let's see where the table ends. And it ends about there. Okay, nice. So, I think this is the price sticker. Yeah, it's a price sticker. So let me go take the sticker off, yeah? And peel it back. To reveal some shit left behind. Always with these stickers. Yeah, I have some residue on the, on the lens, but I do not care. So first, you can. Ha I mean, you'll have to loosen this ring up potentially. Yeah, I've loosened this thing up with one of these things, which are which some odd 3D printed bit, which I don't know where this thing is from. And as long as it fits in here, you can also use a M42 body cap. As long as it is smaller than a 49 mil and has this hollow inside bit so it doesn't strike the optic then i use this piece of inner tube this thing i think is from a truck i just took this thing from a from like the road essentially and use this thing as my bike shade guide which is not ideal seeing how much mud's on there but this thing still works so i just use the pro I mean one of these what you call them like compasses yeah use one of these compasses and the pencil to like sketch out a 48 mil wide circle put this thing in use this thing twist it off you're done so after this bit's done you can put this thing this stuff away then you want to wipe the lens so let's wipe the lens down i can see some scratches here then rear focus down and then scratch it i mean not scratch it what you call this thing and then wipe it okay the rear coating looks okay yeah now my light's gonna be up there on my man for the tripod because yeah I'm on a different table essentially not like what I'm used to yeah so let's start opening this thing up so what I'm gonna do is just unscrew this ring from the front yeah and this thing also got an M42 to the EOS body cap which is I mean not body cap which call that thing an adapter which is good because I do not have one at the moment yeah and this is taking a bit too long, maybe use this thing it doesn't work with this thing it might actually scratch the optic but I'm gonna take the risk cause the dirty parts on the outside in this thing yeah it's, shit. it's pretty fit because this thing likes to like, like turn in on itself which is not the best thing yeah for one of these rubber mounts but there is nothing there Shit doesn't work as well. Let go. Just my fingers, yeah. And honestly, if you wanna work on these lenses, do not fasten these things fully in, cause I mean, like tightly in, cause then they might like bind, and you might have to like drill holes in the aperture. I mean, the name ring to take the thing out. Now this thing's out. This thing has no screws on the outside, which is pretty odd. The one on Google I saw who had some screws, which is not ex not to be expected, yeah. But at least I have one of these lens wrenches which I can use, yeah. I thought like I could like just take the whole aperture assembly and just pop it all, yeah. Which is turning out not to be the case. So let's. I mean not the aperture assembly. I mean the whole lens assembly. That thing is popped out in some of these photo, yeah. Uh. Let's take this ring. I think this is the front element only that's gonna pop out. Yeah, this ring is out, and I think it's only the front element. Let's see. So, let's put 
these things on piece of tissue because the staple is a bit dirtier than my old I mean my usual one so I'm gonna put them on the side in order to like usual yeah so my metal ring is called plastic because the staple is plastic coated the thing about plastic is that it's what you call this thing it's changeable but I don't change it that often so that's why it's dirty now this thing actually has a chip in the thing which is not always the best thing but at least you can't see it now. You see a chip in optic. Let's show you, yeah. So there's a little white piece right there. That's not good, but uh, at least I have a taco more, yeah. So let's wipe this thing down with another piece of tissue. Wipe the rear optic down. Okay. And it's coming out clean, yeah. The front, let's see. Uh, has some scratches, but it's clean enough. Okay, next let us see this bit. Does not fall out, yeah. So there's still some funky, I think, in there. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what group this out fungi is in. It's right behind the aperture, so let's take the next group out, yeah. So with these Japanese lenses that have like long product cycles, I think what you call them, yeah? not sure how you call them, but essentially long production runs, they usually have like different small variations. And this seems to be one of them that has no like, what you call this thing? That has no screws holding in the front ring. This, I'm moving a ring, and I do not know what this ring is doing, so it's not holding the, the outside there, so let's see, this is not out, put this ring up here, yeah. then let's see if I can just pull this optic out, no? Still not coming out, yeah? Still bastard. So, let's see. Maybe you open the lens from that small thing right there. I think I have some glue, yeah? So I'm gonna go and put some ash stone in. Let's do it, yeah? So let's put some, I mean, some Q-tips. I'm gonna take two, yeah? For the case. One good one, one bad one. And now let's first deactivate the the glue with some of this cutter action yeah let's cut the glue bit then after that you want to check for the oh shit it didn't get scratched by this guy so this falls out essentially fuck i was not expecting that yeah holy shit so it just falls out which is a good and a bad thing, so now it's open, I can actually work on it. The bad thing is I chopped it, but it shouldn't have done anything here. Yeah. This operates the aperture, yeah, this little tab thingy. The aperture is dry, nice. And so it goes into this small prong, I think, yeah. That's how it goes in, hopefully. So let's see if it will sit in properly. This optical block so heavy man, so you can't like, let's see, holy shit, uh, yeah, I'll have to work on how to open this thing, I mean put this thing back together again, yeah, it also has some shims, so you don't want to lose the shims, yeah, you want to put the shims down, is that another shim, no, okay, nice, put the shims on the side, like that, yeah, so I did not need acetone actually. Let's put the Q-tips over here. Then this thing has smooth focus, nice aperture assembly which I do not need to fix. And I'll need to clean the, op the optics, yeah. So next I'm gonna go open the back optics. Okay. 
hopefully this goes up in one piece and it does okay that's good now okay let's put this up together here yeah. and this has some funky also i think yeah okay so this thing screws up i think this thing is some kind of like tesla design maybe yeah so it has six six elements hopefully i'm not sure they usually have like six i think but i'm not i'm not a takuma expert so i'm not gonna be able to see now if this has some fun gear we go wipe this thing down yeah this thing's not gonna fall out though I super hate it when people actually give like sticky coatings on the inside of these things, yeah. Now let's blow this thing. And check. It's pretty much clean. Except for this one finger pin. Optics pristine, let's put it here. Yeah. And let's see this thing. This thing has some fungi in it. So let's wipe this thing down, yeah. This thing seems like one optic held in with a retainer ring which you do not need to remove, yeah. And this is pretty much clean. Let's just wipe it one more time, yeah? With some clean bit of tissue. And you should be cold in the back has some minor scratches, but that's the least of my worries, yeah? So let's just put this thing back together again. No fingerprints, okay. back in screw it in yeah okay that's the back optical group done then this is the front optical group which i hope to like remove from the aperture assembly yeah with this tool so let's see this is a bit risky actually to be honest yeah oh shit is this blunt no it's not blunt let's see and somehow put this thing on the top of this thing. Take these tools of tape, yeah? Improvise. Let's just take some acetone to be safe. I really don't want to jump the tool, yeah? If I jump the tool, then I'm pretty much dead. Doesn't come out, though. One more. Yeah. Oh shit. That Astonia. Yeah. Okay. That's pretty good. Now let's put this thing over here and then wipe the optics so I don't accidentally eat the coatings. And then I screw this thing back in here. Yeah. And first, let's see if I can actually wipe the optic down without like opening the whole thing up. If I can, that'd be nice because I don't have to like open the whole group or anything out there. Yeah? Actually clean. Okay, so I actually do not need to open that group 
I just need to like wipe the optic I think let's see let's wipe this bit oh well, I can't really reach the sides of the thing which have funky so I am not done let's turn this thing back on I'm not gonna release this guy, so I'm gonna just use my small screwdriver and forget about using the thing. Cause this is a delicate bit where you can actually scratch the coat the coating and the coating on this bit is not very hard. That is why I'm worried. So you wanna go in slow. For me it's better to leave funky in than take it out but also damage the lens, so that is also why I'm doing this. Slowly and steadily like this, yeah. Just gotta go patient. Then take the two bits out. Shit. There you go. That's one optical bit, so there should be some funky in here, yeah? Okay. So, as you know, we see I'm not working with any specific, like, repair manuals or repair manuals or anything like that yeah because I mean like why the hell would you want to use them if you can actually fix the lens without using them yeah so you take more time like wasted I mean you're gonna waste more time searching for the repair manual than opening the lens itself directly yeah so that's pretty much why I do not use repair manuals I mean I'm not saying you can't yeah but just I find it like a waste of time That's pretty bullshit man Like the optics like some funky in it Where the funky is I'm not sure I think it's on the back Let's use this q-tip And wipe the whole thing down yeah This now is, let's see. It's not very clear to be honest, yeah. Uh, there should be zero fungi, but I can't really get this. Let's just go to one more pass, yeah. One more pass with the tip. One more pass on the top surface. Let's blow this thing off. When blowing, I don't want to blow over here because then I might blow stuff on the other optics, which I do not want to happen. Yeah. This is pretty much clean, I'd say. There's some small amount of funky over here. Like right under the aperture level right here. So let's try and clean this thing out. The thing is that I've heard that Takumara coatings are pretty strong and they do not easily get eaten by funky. And that's why I'm trying this hard. And it's actually working. So yeah, Takamara coatings are strong. They're not these like measly, what you call these things. Uh, Pentax 110 coatings or something like that. Yeah? Pentax 110 coatings can be eaten by pretty much anything. Um, soap, gasoline. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure about soap, but gasoline can eat it. Um, Astone can pretty much eat anything it wants if you leave it long enough. As clean as it's as clean as it's gonna get, yeah. So that is 
it for me. Now I'm gonna go clean this pit which faces outwards, yeah. And the reason why I don't use microfiber cloths is because um, I don't want to wash things and these paper towels are pretty disposable and so you can just throw them away. They're not made of plastic so you can't like destroy the environment or anything like that, yeah? So nobody's gonna complain about using them and I mean you're gonna chop down some trees so yeah but most of the time nothing's gonna happen with them. So you can just use them anytime you want, any way you want. Shit, why are you not sitting in there for me? One. One ring. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck it man. This ring is like, not helping me at all. Dang it. It's like so small. And it's so recessed in the optic. Let's get it flat. Okay. The thing about these things is to be patient, but sometimes you just don't have any patience and you might destroy it. So that's why you really have to be patient with when dealing with these old optics. Not only that much everything every single thing that's old. You have to handle the patients. Go slow and steady and you can finish a job like me. There you go. Gonna wipe this thing down. So it's pretty much perfect, yeah? Still some fingerprint on here. on the outside so I can actually wipe it down. Let's give it some kit. Get some like get some like what you call this thing? Um uh paint paint pot of thingy, I'm not sure what the heck you call it. Overseas yeah but it's some like paint cleaning shining thingy which is going to leave some residue. Smells nice and can be cleaned, so that's why I'm using kit. And it's not very expensive, so that's why I'm also using this thing. Shit, it's not going to go anywhere. The hell, let me go salt dishes, I think, yeah. And plus if you're actually using your breath to clean lenses, make sure you just like brush your teeth like me. Like really really brush your teeth, because if not you might actually give some funky in the lens, which is not a good thing. No matter what you do, yeah. How is this kid not going anywhere? Let's wipe this thing down. It's still not going anywhere. Fuck. Gone. It's pretty much gone, yeah, but just a little bit of residue. Let's clean the whole thing up before I actually call it quits. Maybe two more rounds and I'll be done. So let's do this and one more round, yeah. this thing and this is pretty clean see that's pretty clean from like what kind of a fungi house lens thing yeah it was so now let's push this thing back in 
I mean, let's screw the back group in first, yeah? For the back group, screw it in like you took it out. Same way. And... There you go, you're done. Tighten it down. Not too tight. Then put the shims back in. Let's just let's just assemble the whole optical block maybe. Yeah? So I can actually save some time. So let's take this little thing. Clean the rear side of the optic. Once the rear side's done, do it again. As like a small guarantee. Blow it. Blow this thing. And push it in. Or drop it in. Nice. Then you wanna drop this thing in. To hold the thing in, yeah. Um, this thing will go in after this, I mean before this thing, but I'm just gonna put this thing in to hold the front optic so it doesn't fall out. Um, why is it red? I'm not sure what that would be. Okay, the SM reached the recording limit, which is okay, at least I caught it in time, yeah? And so let's put the shim back on. You do not want to lose these, yeah? Because these things are like super super fine adjustment for the lens and if you do lose them then you're essentially dead now it's at f1.8 yeah so set this into f1.8 okay nice shit lost the dream let's push it back in and now once you're finished with that yeah pushing the rings in you want to find a way to put this thing in like this you want this thing to go in that hook right there let me go show you yeah let's see if you can actually see the hook so it's like where the fuck's the hook it's like that hook on there see like that hook that's gonna go in hook into this let's see this spin this spin i'm sorry i only have two hands so i can't really show you how it looks like but there it is so you wanna push it in as straight as you can and as well as you can then the aperture works okay now let us unscrew this front ring again if you have proper tools i think you can actually do it without unscrewing the front ring I mean this yeah this ring this front ring but because I do not have the proper tools I only have a vernier caliper and the tools in Indonesia are not very common yeah so you can't really find them anywhere you have to like pre-order them which is not something I want to do with tools because if you pre-order something from China it probably will come here and become a piece of rubbish once it's arrived because of the the boot and everything else yeah so now let us see I want to sit this thing down with this small tweezer, I mean this small screwdriver so it don't like strip the threads or jump the tool. How is it not going down actually? Yes, let's just see. Let's screw this thing out so it doesn't like push the optic up essentially. And level this thing up. Oh shit. Let's do it from the other side so gonna do it like this. This way you're not gonna be touching the the optic even if you jump, see? Oh shit, this thing's up. Okay. That's not good. I'm 
pretty sure this thing's in. I hope it's in. It looks like it's in. Well, it should be in. This. Okay. Screw it in. Not too tight. Nice. Next, you wanna wipe this object down. Actually, no, because this is the outside one. You don't really need to wipe it. So just push this ring on. Screw this ring on, and you're, it's actually done. So let's screw this thing. And once you've done screwing it in, you want to blow the thing out. Then you want to wipe the front optic. And once you're done wiping, should be done. Let's see. So let's wipe the whole thing down, and it is clean. So as you can see, no more fungi, only scratches in the front. Everything other than scratches are gone, and this is a pristine lens. The back has some dust. Yeah, let me wipe the back also. See, so this is pretty much as clean as it as will ever get, yeah, because these front bits are scratches, not fungi, and the insides are practically clean. See? Okay, so thank you for watching. Hope you like it, and goodbye. Like and subscribe if you want to. If you don't, then let it be. I only do these things for fun. And yeah, have a nice day. Gonna go put this little thing in here. It's an EF mount. Nice.